Welcome at Yongia Mixing Technology. My name is Seiko van der Veen and I work for Yongia as an application engineer. Yongia offers a wide range of mixing and stirring equipment which is based upon many years of experience. In this video we want to explain to you the working of the UZ mixing element. Arms and legs, a ribbon, a combination of an anchor and an axial flow turbine, the UZ mixing element has a very recognizable shape. So it has to be a very special mixing element. And so it is. The UZ mixing element contains the following properties. It can thrust, scoop and pump, which is ideal for medium viscous liquids. It has a constant power input, regardless of the liquid level. There is a large ratio between mixing element diameter and tank diameter. The arms and legs cover almost the entire cylinder. It does not require baffles. The tip speed is low, the shear is low, and therefore the mixing element has a relative low power consumption as a result. This design is ideal for use during tank emptying and filling. This agitator can just keep running regardless the volume level inside the tank. It is quite easy to clean due to its shape and there are virtually no blind spots. It is often used in the dairy industry, such as for yogurt or probiotic drinks. To explain the working principle of the UZ mixing element, we have set up a lab scale unit which consists of a 10 liter tank equipped with a conical bottom shape of 30 degrees. The viscosity in the tank is approximate 750 centipoirs. A UZ mixing element consisting of one U element and two Z elements. As you can see, the lower part of the U element is equipped with a bottom scraper, able to follow the shape of the bottom of the tank. The position of the different mixing elements is always 90 degrees opposite from each other. We have positioned the mixer shaft off-center at one-tenth of the tank diameter. We will run this mixing element for this lab scale unit at 125 rpm. In this case, the configuration of the mixing element is pumping upwards. This means bottom over top direction. This is to avoid air becoming trapped into the fluid. We will now dose an amount of solids which can be compared to dosing yogurt bacteria for yogurt production. As you can see, the solids are being transported to the bottom of the tank and coming back once the entire dosing is spread homogeneously over the tank content. Once the tank content is sufficiently homogeneous, we bring back the RPM to 65. This is 50% of the rotation quantity we started with. This to avoid damaging of the solid content the bacteria and enable the yogurt culture to grow. Plus, it saves energy. If you are interested in Yongia mixing technology, please contact us at yongia.com or give us a call. We are happy to answer your questions about mixing and blending with Yongia's UZ mixing elements. Thank you for watching.